morning everybody today is saturday and i'm finally getting around to getting this uh, video up for the girls valentines um i'm going to first off show you what i got for them and i'm going to try and make that pretty quick and not be so chatty about it um and then i'm going to um show you how i'm going to put them together for their valentine's day um after pulling all this stuff out i have come to the realization that um, Madeline got gypped, so I'm going to have to go and get her a few of the little things to add to some of these things, but um, I should be able to get all of Caitlin's together for the sake of the video. It should be okay to be able to show you everything that I'm going to do. Um, so first of all, um, I had told y'all earlier that I had went to Target when they first started putting out a lot of their Valentine stuff and had bought them quite a few things. And so I'm going to show you that first because I don't think I showed any of that at all. I know some of the stuff that I bought from the Dollar Tree, I showed you as I got them in my hauls. Um, and then I've got some packaging stuff over here that I'm going to use to put this stuff together. But I'm going to show you what I got the girls from Target. Valentine, excuse me, but i got to have me some coffee. Because it is early and I just need it. Okay. So the first thing I got, um, I got each one of them one of these little fuzzy pillows. They like these to put on their beds. Um, and a lot of the stuff you may have seen other people haul, but this is what I got for my girls. I got a white one and I got a pink one. And these, I'm sure they don't have these anymore because they're already putting out um, Easter stuff. But these were $5 a piece at Target. So... And you might can go to Five Below and find something. I have not been there, so I don't know what they have for Valentine's Day. But it might be worth checking out. So, that's what I got them. Um, i to find somewhere to put this stuff. Sorry. Okay. And then, let's see. The next thing that I bought for them. I got a, a pack of these little pencils. And I used to love these when I was a kid. Um, in school. There was two of each, so that worked out good, and I just opened up the pack and divided them. But you just take, once you get done with the lead on the top, you just take it out, push it into the bottom, and it pushes the next lead up. It's got little erasers on the tops of them that um, correspond with the color of the little pins. Okay. And another little pin item that I got um, from Target is one of these little pens that's got all the little colors. Um, it's there's I don't, know, I don't know how good my lighting is here to show you this. I might need to close these blinds. Wanted to use a natural light, but it might be interfering. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it made it darker. Sorry about that. Anyway, you can tell these have just the colors. There's a blue, green, red, purple. Looks like there's a darker purple and a pink um, that you can push down for your pen. So, got each one of them one of those. Um, I got this little pack of highlighters I thought was really cute. They can use these at school or whatever. Um, it says neon chunky markers. It doesn't say that they smell. Sometimes I know they have had stuff that smells. And it's got like little hearts on the front of them that um, have some, I don't know, little slants. I don't know what that key to, Q2, I can't even talk. I don't know what that stands for, but they probably do. And then on the back of them, they actually have like these little, um, things where you can like clip them onto the notebook, your notebook or something. So I thought that was really cute. I got them each one of those. Um, then another thing that I bought for them there was this, um, I guess it's like a candle holder. Um, I mainly got it because one, I mean, look how shimmery and shiny that is. But it's got like the little holes. So when you burn, whatever you burn in here is going to show through. And I think it's going to illuminate and be really pretty. Um, they could put like a little votive candle. I know the Dollar Tree sells, I think it's four in a pack where you can get the little glass um, votive, votive holders with the votive candles in them. Um, and that would be cute to sit down in something like this. I haven't lit them, so I can't tell you for sure, but I've had something similar to this, and they usually look really pretty when they're lit. And let's see. Um, another thing that I bought for them 
is these cute little flower pots. It says Friendship Grow. And they had a variety of different um, little flowers. This one is a daisy. And then this one is a forget-me-not. And I thought that was really cute. Something they could, you know, water and grow. And it's not going to make a mess. And, you know, if it dies, it ain't no big deal. Um, the next thing that I got was the, um, this little, I guess, bowl slash mug. I wouldn't use this to drink out of. This is probably more like for soups or cereals or oodles and noodles or... You know, they could put, um, you know, little trinkets in it and set it in their room if they wanted to do that. But this one I got for mine one. It says, you are beautiful. And then this one says, um, you make my heart smile. For Caitlin. And they had different ones there. These were $3 each. So that's all that I had gotten. I don't know. Wait a minute. I think I may have got. Oh, I did get a couple more things from Caitlin. Uh, Target. And I had mentioned before that Caitlin's a little bit easier shot for when it comes to little things like this because she just likes um, little trinket type, you know, things. Um, whereas Madeline don't really care for stuff like that. But anyway, this is a shrink art. It's kind of like the shrinky dinks. I don't know if anybody remembers those or if they even still have those out. But they have all different kinds of cute little, looks like um, food items, donut, um, ketchup maybe um, pretzels, ice cream, things like that, but they can take it and they can use these little markers to color them. And then um, I'm gonna assume that you put them in the oven like we did to shrink them, but I haven't really read the directions. I just picked that up because I thought that was cute and she would enjoy doing that. And maybe, you know, her and Madeline can share these if that's something Madeline wants to do. I got these stickers for her. Um, not that Caitlin's a big sticker fan, but. The things that are on these stickers, I think she would really like. Uh, especially, like, some of them got these little googly wiggly eyes on them. So I thought that that'd be something cute. You know, she could stick them on paper or whatever she wants to do. As long as she'll stick them on furniture. So that's what I had gotten from um, Target for them. I lost a lid on Oh, here it is. Okay, um, I'm not going to go over the candy yet or the cards. I'm just trying to get out of the way the things that I bought for them to go in their actual. Um, and I'm going to be really quick on these because I have already showed these in a haul. Um, but I did get a Mecha candle. This is Caitlin's, the one with the octopus is Madeline's. Um, I got a peach, a little strawberry lip balm. I got Caitlin this little paint set and this little surprise, um, yo-yo surprise. It's like a little charm that goes on top of a, um, lip gloss. And then I got them this nail polish. I'm going to give Madeline the pink and Caitlin the white one. And... Oh. Well, Madeline, this, I mean Caitlin, sorry, this big, huge, squishy, marshmallow, soft little cat that I bought at Walmart. Now, I wasn't going to get them um, stuffed animals because we have too many. And then every time I get them, they get thrown in the corner and get neglected and forgotten. But this is more like, kind of like, she could use this for a pillow. This is really soft. So, like I said, I'm going to have to go back and buy a couple more things to supplement Madeline's with because Caitlin got a few more things than she did. Um, as far as the candy, I got each a pack of the Junior Mints. I got them a pack of this stuff, Milk Chocolate. I got each one of them um, this Lindor Chocolate I got from the Dollar Tree. They each got a pack of Strawberry Bubblicious Gum. I got some um, gummy hearts that I'm going to divide. Give them some, you know, a few in each bag. And then I got some uh, Charmed Mini Pops that are all cherry flavor. So, um, and then I got um, Caitlin, this cute little card. I'm sorry. You know, I realize the shadows are coming from my little hearts that are dangling down from my light that I 
did the DIY on the other day, so I think it's actually blocking some of the, the light here. But anyway, I just thought that was a really cute little picture. When it comes to Valentine cards, I wish they would get better on what they put on the front. Um, I mean, I do like the sayings to be good as well, but what really grabs me is the cute little pictures. When I was growing up, my mama always bought me the cutest little Valentine's cards. And you know, to me, uh, I'll, I'll say me because I don't know if it's all little girls feel this way, but you know, I wanted something, you know, I thought of Valentine's Day is like a princess day, a magical day. And you know, so I wanted my cards, or when my cards were really cute and magical and had uh, really cute little pictures and stuff on them, it just, I don't know, I just really liked them. I still got them somewhere. But it's like they just don't make the cards, the covers as cute as they used to. And so that's really what catches my eye when I see something really cute like this. Um, you know, I definitely want to get it. But the inside um, basically just says, sending you a great, sending you great big hugs and loving wishes for a magical Valentine's Day. And I know that Caitlin is 12, and this might be a little young for her, but I still think she would appreciate the cute little unicorn. She likes anything babyish and cute and whimsical. And then for Madeline, um, <clears throat> I had showed this on one of my Dollar Tree hauls before. It says, just for you, um, smiles in your day, love in your world, happiness in your heart. Wishing you that today and every day. So lucky to have you in my life. Happy Valentine's Day. So this is what I got them. And now I'm going to put this stuff together. Um, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to say... Um, when they were smaller, I think last year was the only year I didn't do it. But I, every year at Valentine's Day, we do a Valentine's Day scavenger hunt. You can't come in here. Um, and basically what I do is I give them about five clues. And um, I cut them out on little, little heart. Or I cut out little hearts. And I put little clues on each heart. And I give them one to start out. And then they've got five different places they go to. And everywhere they go... They, um, you know, when they find or solve the clue and go to the place that, you know, the clue is leading them to, there'll be, I always put a little something there that I got them for Valentine's Day and then another clue. And they just continue to do that and it leads them from one place to another until they get to the very last one. And I usually put the bigger item or the best item or, you know, whatever in the last area that I hide things in. I told them that they're... I'm running out of hiding places, and I'm not good with clues. I mean, yes, I'm good with clues for little kids, but when they get older and it's not as hard to find, I'm not as good at coming up with stuff. But um, I didn't do it last year, and this year they said they wanted me to do it again, so that's what I'm going to do. And the reason why I'm telling you this now is because I'm going to put their gifts together based on how I'm going to do their scavenger hunt. Um, and so I'm going to have to separate them into five... Um, little gifts so i'm up being that i still have some things that i've got to get for madeline i am going to just do caitlin's right now um but a lot of their stuff is similar so um i don't think that's going to be a problem so i'm going to get madeline's stuff kind of out of the way here and I feel like I did definitely... Oh, I forgot to show the little sweet tarts. I did get them those as well. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is for one of them, I'm just going to put all of their candy. Um, I don't know. I'm to take them out. And I'm going to, I thought about putting all of their candy. I had bought these little um, treat bags. And I thought I would just put all their candy in the treat bag and let that be one fine. Um, so let me see. I'm going to figure this out. And then once I know how I want to get them divided up, I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so here's how I decided that I was going to do Caitlin's. Um, I tried to separate these into five different... Um, little gifts so that I could have five locations for her to um, do her little scavenger hunt. But in this one, I just took this little um, mug um, or bowl, 
um, and I put the um, her little nerds in there. I also, um, this little bag of candy, I put all of the um, gummy hearts, the suckers, and then the Bubblicious bubble gum in that because they're all like cherry or strawberry flavor. And I didn't want to mix that with the chocolate. So I put all those in this little bag here. And I gave her five of the suckers, five of the gummy hearts, and then of course a pack of the gum. And then in the back, I just um, put the little pencils and then this pen. And so that's going to be in one location that she goes and, you know, one of her little prizes. And then in the next one, I just took this here and um, inside I put the um, forget-me-not plant and then her little nail duet. I put that in there. Uh, it really don't matter how you separate them, you know. You can do as many or as few clues as you want to do as long as you got a little something at each location. So however you want to do that. So that's another one. Then the next one I did, um, this little bag here, I decided I was going to put her chocolates in. And so, you know, I put the Lindor chocolates, the Junior Mints, and I did smell the outside of the box to make sure that the mints weren't going to be so strong that the flavor or the smell would rub off onto the other chocolates in the bag. And then, of course, you know, the Dove, but they're pretty good and sealed up, so I don't really think it's going to be that big of a deal. So I put all of the chocolates in this bag and then in front of that I'm just going to set the cute little um, mermaid candle so that'll be another one that she'll find and then the very well, I said the very last I'm gonna put her little cat thing in one location by itself and I'm not gonna wrap it up it's just gonna be sitting there when she finds it so that's another one and then as far as like this bag here i took and i just put the rest of the items in it um that i had for her and because she had a lot of little things you know all the little um whimsical the little stickers the shrink art um the little um paint set and this i just put in this bag here and then i did also put the little if i can get my arms in there i'm sorry the highlighter pens you can see them down in there i stuffed those in there as well so um, I put that in there and I'm going to stick this on top with some tissue paper and then um, I'll probably put her first clue in her card so she'll open that first and um, then she'll have, you know, five other places to go find gifts. So that's how I'm going to do the um, Valentine's Day scavenger hunt and I'll just show you at the end of the video how... Um, I cut out the hearts and make my little clues and, and my hiding places and everything. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out my hearts that I'm going to use um, to do my um, clues with. And what I would do, the easiest way to make a heart um, so that both sides are even, is I just took a piece of paper and folded it in half. And I chose a piece of paper that I don't really care for. Um, but it's real stiff. It's cardstock. And you can make these hearts as... Um, big or as small as you want. If it helps to draw a pattern, you can. I just eyeball it. So I'm basically just going to start on the corner and I'm just going to cut one side of the heart that I want to use. And I want to make it big enough to where I can write my clues in it. Um, And if you don't like how your heart turns out, you know, you can always try again. But basically, um, once you get your piece cut out and you open it up, that's what your heart's going to look like. And I'm going to use this as a pattern. Um, I could go ahead and fold each piece of paper that I'm going to do and cut my um, other ones out the same way. But if I did, every one of them is going to have a little crease in the center of it. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to use this as a, um, like I said, like a stencil to go by. And I'm just going to lay it down on here and draw around it and then cut me out some hearts. You can use any color paper you want. I've got red here. I've got pink. Um, you know, you could use lavender, blue, whatever you want to do. So that's what I'm going to do right now.
can also do different things with your hearts um, if you want. If you have some decorative scissors, like I've got some, I've got a whole lot of decorative scissors. But like for instance, you could take these scallop scissors and you could go around your heart and then in between each one of these little scallop pieces, you could take like a little mini um, hole punch and punch holes and make it look like lace. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, but right now I'm just going to continue to cut out all my cute little heart shapes and then I'll decide um, if I want to make them more decorative. And I did five red and then five pink. That way um, I've got ten hearts total to cut out. And I saved my scrap pieces of paper so that I can use for other things later. And I'm just kind of separating these now to make it a little bit less in my hand when I'm cutting them out and make it easier on myself. And I just trace these with a pencil. If you get, um, when you're cutting them, if you sh some of the pencil marks show, you can just erase those or just use the other side um, to write on. And when you're coming up with clues for your um, hiding places, you know, um, they don't have to be anything um, you know, major. Depending on the age group of your children, like I said, I'm not good with coming up with really hard stuff and riddles and stuff. <laughs> So they're going to get the um, five-year-old version like they did when they were five. Um, but, you know, I may put something like if I'm going to hide something behind the couch. Um, Caitlin, for some reason or another, when she's eating her little candies and snacks and stuff on the couch, she don't want to get up and throw her trash away. So she thinks that she's being slick by just tossing it behind the couch. And then I find it later and have to gra gather all those wrappers up and throw them in the trash. So something, you know, for instance, if I was going to hide her gift behind the couch, I would put something similar like, you know, where um, you throw your trash when no one is looking. You know, that would be a clue for Caitlin. And then she'd know to go um, and find her gift behind the couch. So just, you know, whatever pertains to you and your children. And my daughter's over here making noise. So anyway, I'm going to finish cutting up these hearts and writing out my clues so that I can um, get this all set up. Okay, so here are some of the clues that I made for my girls. Um, I wrote them in pencil um, and then, you know, went back over them. So that way, if I messed up, I could always erase them. Um, but this right here says where you go every day after school. Um, that is actually... Caitlin hits her bed and tries to take a nap, which she shouldn't do. Um, but some of these, I'm probably going to end up, like with this one, I'm going to put her last gift. And um, I'm probably going to have to place it there while she's in another part of the house looking for her other stuff. Just because it's going to be where, um, you know, it's going to be out in the open. Um, it says, you come to me when you are hungry. Um, that could be... A refrigerator. It's, in our case, it's going to be a snack cabinet. Where Mama hides the good stuff. This is going to be my big closet where I put all of the Christmas gifts and stuff like that that I don't want to be found. Of course, where you throw your trash when you're watching TV. She sure, already know that one's behind the couch. It says, I keep your shoes in an orderly fashion but rarely see them. That's because she never puts her shoes in her closet. <laughs> so anyway, these are just a few of my ideas. You know, like I said, nothing grand. You could probably come up with, um, you know, something for whatever age group you're doing yours for. And um, now I'm going to go and hide the gifts. <laughs> 